Hello and welcome again, Curriculum Mappers. Fanny and Richard are here with our first collaborative video. We are piloting this as a way of communicating future videos. Um, since we are a nine and a half hour time difference, um, I'm here in Washington, D.C. and Fanny is in India. So this is really the only way that we can work together on, on videos. So I have her in the upper right um, and I'll be like right below her. So there she is. All right. Um, so what I haven't made a lot of is a lot of videos regarding how to make easy and simple reports if you are mapping in this process. So I'm going to take you into the our demo mapping site, which is going to be available to all of you, hopefully very shortly. Um, but one of the pages is called reports. And all it is is one Google Sheet with individual tabs with one specific report. And here's why it's nice to do it in one Google Sheet. Um, the first time you use the import range function, you have to allow access to the sheet that you're connected to. So by doing that once, any future report you do, you won't have to do that again. So that's why having it all in one sheet is really nice. Um, so the three reports I created in a matter of like three minutes are the number of units by grade level, number of units by subject area, and then this one could be a little bit controversial, it's edit access by teacher. So in other words, you're going to see sort of the number of units that a teacher is collaborating. Now it doesn't necessarily mean they're actually putting any effort into those units. They might be, but they do have access to edit. And we would encourage teachers to work together and edit the units together. So getting these charts onto Google Sites is a very simple process. So if I go back to our Google site, this is the reports page. On the right hand side, you have, I'm going to move Fanny's picture here for a bit. Uh, you have the insert button and then if you scroll down to the bottom you have charts so when you click charts um, you can easily identify your Google sheet that contains the reports because you would have named it reports so I can click on reports click insert and it's going to show me all of the available charts on that one sheet and I simply highlight the one I want and click add and it puts it on the page. So, so that's it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. And oh, there's actually one more feature. Um, I didn't actually demonstrate file cabinet. <laughs> the yes, the file cabinet. So, so where is the data coming from for these sheets? Um, we are listing all of our files in the file cabinet. So, the function that is actually giving us the data is a count if function. So I'm importing data from the file cabinet. And as you can see on this sheet, I have a formula in cell D1 that says equals count if A3 to A is essentially equal to K. Because that's how it's represented in, that's how the grade level of kindergarten is represented in the file cabinet. So that's why we see a a one here for grade six because it is counting the number of times uh, a six appears in the file cabinet uh, essentially so all I'm doing is importing the data and then counting that data in this sheet so the edit access by teacher is a little bit more complicated um, that formula involves counting the number of times a given name appears in a column. So in this case, we see Fanny has two. In fact, she has edit access to all of the units being the so-called curriculum coordinator in this demo site. Um, but then we can easily count the number of units that uh, each teacher has access to. So I hope this uh, collaborative video was helpful and we'll try to think of other interesting topics to share via this method. Um, it is challenging to find time to get together to do this, but uh, hope you're having a great start to your day or to your evening, and uh, see you next time.
see you bye bye